Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. With Allied fortunes at a low ebb in the early months of 1942, a dangerous mission was planned by the U.S. Navy and Army Air Force as a means of improving morale. A vital Japanese target would be attacked by B-25 bombers launched from an aircraft carrier. Early on the morning of April 18, 1942, a strike force of 16 airplanes took off from the USS Hornet. Their objective was a bombing raid on the Japanese mainland. The one dominant story of the day is the reported bombing of Tokyo, the port of Yokohama, and other cities of Japan. All the reports about the bombings have come from Axis sources. The news has brought jubilation in the various capitals of the Allied nations. The leader of the raid was Lieutenant Colonel James Doolittle. His planes flew over Tokyo, Kobe, Nagoya, and Yokohama, skimming the treetops, climbing to an altitude of 1,500 feet only to drop their 500-pound bombs. Soon after the raid, Doolittle gave his account of what happened. As we approached the mainland, we heard a Japanese radio in its English propaganda broadcast detailing the pleasures of life in Japan and their freedom from fear of bombing. As we had expected, this program would off the air rather suddenly. The greatest result of our raid is the material and psychological damage we inflicted upon the enemy. The psychological impact of the Tokyo bombing was felt immediately, especially in China. For once Chinese here have had no hesitancy in believing Radio Tokyo on this single greatest piece of news that China has received in five years. For a period of three hours Saturday afternoon, every Japanese announcer in Tokyo was hemming and hawing with trembling voice and uncertain delivery. They were scared. The damage to the Japanese self-esteem was immeasurable. The raid also forced the Japanese to push forward the planned assault on Midway Island to help prevent further attacks against Japan. The repercussions of this decision would be enormous. I'm Ed Herlihy. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.